Delete has confused more than one person working in JavaScript. The purpose of delete is to remove a property from an object. You cannot delete a variable using delete. Let's take a look at it. I've created an object with two properties. That property returns a value. If I check to see if the property is in the object, it returns true. If I check to see if using has own property, that returns true as well. Now if I remove that property using the delete operator, I can no longer reference it. It returns false if I check to see if it is in the object and has own property also returns false. Well, what if I just set it to null? So property two equal to null. Now if I try to access that property, it returns null. But here's the real difference. Using in, it comes back with true. So it did not completely remove the property. That's the purpose of delete. And has on property also will return true. So if we want to completely remove a property, we use delete. Now you can use delete with arrays as well. I just created an array, the length is three. If I now delete the second element of the array, it removes that element, returns undefined if I try to reference it. However, the length of the array is still three, meaning there is now a hole in the, the array. So it's called a sparse array. If you want to remove an, an element in an array and have it adjust the length, you would need to use splice. So quickly review purpose of delete is to remove a property from an object. You can also use it on an array, but it will create a sparse array. If you'd rather just remove the item and have the array adjust and not leave a hole in the array, use splice. And finally, you won't be able to delete a variable defined with var. You can do that in the console, so don't let that confuse you. But delete was not meant to delete variables. Hopefully that provides a better understanding of delete.